Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Hotonomics, aka Doge GF Sancho in the house. And today, guys, I got the green light because we are going to be talking about passive income, sinister, sinister, sinister passive income opportunities with this new trend in crypto, which is DeFi 2.0, rebase tokens, and decentralized reserve currencies. So it's a lot to unpack, uh, but I'm going to just do my best to give it to you very succinctly. Uh, so that way you can try to just understand the quick points of it uh, that you'll need. Uh, however, I do encourage you to go do your own research, check this out, uh, and, and try to learn it on, on your own. So yeah, guys, um, definitely do your own research. I don't encourage it. I like You need to do it, especially for something like this. Uh, I've been getting a ton of requests or comments and videos like, oh, you got to check out Olympus. You got to check out Olympus. So I was like, all right, finally, like I'll check it out. And now like I'm fully on board with this. This is actually going to be part of my exit strategy for crypto, I believe. And I would hear all of these like rewards like, oh, 7000 percent APY, like, you know, sustainable for the rest of the year, at least. And I'm like, what is it like? That sounds like a scam. Definitely a scam. Definitely a scam. Uh, but then, so when I'm building the tokenomics for my own crypto, then I, you're, you know, I'm, I'm building that right now. And so they, I was encouraged to go learn the tokenomics of these and how these work because this is going to be the new trend. So I started digging into it and I was like, whoa, like this is crazy. So it's an experimental new DeFi trend that's coming out where essentially all of the liquidity is owned by the protocol and it is used to uh, basically manipulate the price. It's very, very similar to how the Federal Reserve manipulates the prices of the dollar and everything, except they have now moved it onto crypto and people who stake can essentially earn the profits from the protocol. <clears throat> so really, really crazy. Uh, I just pulled up here. We can actually just go to the Olympus DAO. The big one right now is Olympus. This is the one that everybody's talking about, but I'm gonna talk about a couple other ones. You can see this one right here. APY 700 or 7,000 percent. There's Wonderland. That's another big one. APY on that one is 94,000 percent. And the runway here is basically saying that they can keep that going for 414 more days, even if they don't make any more money, uh, which is wild. Then you've got Spartacus. This one is also crazy. The staking rewards on this one are 3.3 3 million uh, at the current supply rates and everything. So like I said, sounds like a scam, sounds absolutely crazy. Uh, but uh, it, when you start to get into it, I can actually, it, I mean, it makes a lot more sense how this stuff works. So before we get into it, make sure to like this, like the button below, hit the subscribe button, notification bell if you like this content. I did do a lot of research, try to give it to you guys so we can all make the most bank. So these are all the different rebase tokens that have popped up within the past couple of months. It started with Olympus. Uh, how long has Olympus even been out? It's, I think they started in May, if I'm not mistaken. April. So they started in April. They were the first one, and it really started to get hot, like I said, in October. And then r right around then, we started seeing all of these other forks start to pop up. And that's how you know it's good is when other companies try to do the same thing kind of like what happened with uniswap then they had pancake swap and there were all these other ones and now there's a bunch of different dexes that are kind of the standard dexes that people use i feel like that's going to be similar with this so olympus isn't going anywhere that's definitely the safer play out of all these uh, but then you've also got wonderland that one's huge right now klima people are talking about uh, and then i'm also going to talk about like i said spartacus in this video but you can just go look at the different rebase tokens on uh, on what's it called CoinGecko, and essentially what rebase means is whenever they mint new tokens, they they rebase the supply. There's a new supply, but you will always have as long as you have your staked, you will always have the same percentage. So you get the it's the the rebase of the total supply. You keep your percentage. So really interesting, like I said. So so it really all hinges on these companies making money. So having a revenue stream that then they can, uh, these companies, these protocols, that then they can redistribute back into their token holders. So the way that they do that is very similar to the Federal Reserve. They issue bonds and bonds sound super crazy, but essentially what it is, is they 
mint magic money, similar to how the government just, okay, here, you know, we're just gonna make money, boom, out of nowhere. It's kind of what these guys do. So some people wanna call it a Ponzi scheme. Whenever these bonds do run out, um, or whenever stop people, people stop paying for these bonds, then the game is up. And so, but it's worked for the Federal Reserve this long. Uh, and I mean, I don't know how long it's gonna work for this. That is the ultimate catch with something like this is people do have to keep paying for these bonds. So we'll see how that goes, but uh, this is not as good of an example. Let me go to the Spartacus example. So what right here, I'll just try to explain it very easily. A bond is an IOU. So if I was to give, to buy a bond of Spartacus with my die, then they're gonna give it to me at a 23% discount. So it's a thousand dollars or let's just say a hundred dollars. I'm gonna get my my Spartacus for 23% off, so that's gonna be like $77. So I pay 77 to get a hundred dollars worth of tokens. Then they will mint a full-blown Spartacus and give it to me, but I've given them basically a hundred and or I've given them seventy-eight dollars. Uh, and so with that they now then add that to their their treasury they'll keep 10 percent, and then 90 percent of it goes out to the token holders again as rewards so really really interesting and the way that it works is when they want to increase the supply of their tokens they will offer bigger discounts on the bonds so i hope you guys are following me here and so then right here you can see so that i get this after five days they'll vest it to me over time they'll get they'll, they'll give me my spartacus uh, and then if you were to look at the return on interest, if I was to stake it, it's a 15% interest or, you know, APY over five days. So if I was to stake it, just I, I buy Spartacus for the regular $100, stake it, I'll have $150 extra dollars if the price stays the same uh, at the end of the, I'll have $150 worth of Spartacus at the end of five days. So I'm actually getting a bigger discount with the bond. So they're encouraging people to get bonds and then increase the supply with this. Over time, what they're going to do is they're going to slow down uh, the bond discounts and then they are going to, um, the, and, and the ROI for staking will be higher. So really interesting how some of that works. Uh, we'll kind of get into the math on it really quick. Let's just, let me just show you a little, thing that I got up. So these are the ones that I really did some work on. So you can kind of see them here. So there's Ohm. It's a $4.1 billion market cap number 55 token. APY right now for staking is 7,228%. This right here is basically, so this is how much they have in their treasury that they can then say is backing Ohm. So it's $168 per ohm, and then the total cost, I should put it, it's like $800, it's like $822 per ohm. So that basically means 18% of the value backed on ohm right now is actually backed by something, which is very rare. No, no cryptos are backed by anything. So that's why they say this is a reserve currency because there's actually assets backing it. Now the thing with that, that means 81% of the price that people are paying on this 822 is just speculative premium people wanting to get in. So uh, the, the catch with these also, obviously people have to keep buying the bonds, but additionally, you don't wanna buy at the top. If you're the sucker that buys in at the top, I mean, yeah, if you hold for the whole year and you get those passive rewards, but and it drops 90%, maybe you could get it, you know, maybe you could um, still have a profit, but it's much better to buy in at a lower price as and then see it increase it's just much safer to do that so um with these it's kind of crazy so this one was 36.8 percent at the time of making this video off the all-time high so then time this one is avalanche so let's just go check out these charts here really quick so olympus here's the uh the one year chart and uh, eth based doing really well um good entry price right now i actually got some ohm the other day because i think the entry price is is pretty solid then uh, you've got Wonderland. So Wonderland here's really interesting. So they're blowing up with Avalanche. The Avalanche ecosystem is blowing up. We're having Wonderland now kind of blow up. And so um, 
it's it's same it's the exact same they're just the exact same forks and so um this one i did not buy because the price is just so much closer to the all-time high and when i was actually buying it it was actually like even higher uh so what's the all-time high that they have up here it's about ten thousand dollars so yeah i mean it's only 11 percent off when i was trying to buy it was like four or five percent off so i was like ah, i don't know maybe you want to wait uh and so we can check that out there's also klima klima they don't have as much of transparency on their website so i'm not even going to really talk about that one to be 100 percent honest but that is the number three one with a decent entry price and the rewards on that one are pretty solid so if you want to check that one out you can but i'm just going to x these out spartacus i really like because it's the newest one and has the highest rewards right now also during the bitcoin crash this one increased in value while bitcoin uh while the rest of them decrease so having that resistance to bitcoin crashes i really like and that comes because it has such a high apy right now that's still attracting people in so uh if bitcoin you know at least while this apy is high if bitcoin does something crazy this one has shown that it's not it, it's resistant to that so i did actually buy some spartacus as well uh, even though we are 13 percent off the all-time high which i mean i can deal with that especially when you're going to get those passive rewards uh, but so Bitcoin started crashing on the 11th. So this did have a little bit dump of a dump here, but Bitcoin crashed all ended on November 19th. So you can see overall, this one went up from, is this the market cap? Yeah. Oh, that's the market cap. Let's check out the price. Yeah. So this one went up right here on the 11th. It was basically started at 156. And then at the end of the run, when Bitcoin was at its, it was at 169. So this one went up and even had some bigger pumps in the middle there. So solid uh, time. If you check them out, November 11th, where is theirs? November 11th, 86.42, November 19th at the end of that crash. Actually even went up a little bit. It was, it's about the same. So that one stayed about level. Olympus did crash during Bitcoin pretty significantly. So uh, November, it's been crashing actually since uh, October 25th, so since about Halloween. So the, the Bitcoin dump just definitely didn't help. But uh, November 11th, it was at 890. And then at the end of the dump, uh oh, at the end of the dump, it was at 721. So anyways, all important kind of stuff to know. Um, but yeah, I, I hope this makes sense, guys. It's kind of just like this weird, schemey business model that's using what the Federal Reserve has done, but putting it into DeFi and allowing you guys to become owners, essentially, of the protocol. So, I mean, the sooner you get in, the better off you're going to be with, the, with those APYs. Uh, so yeah, check them out. And so a couple other things, just looking at this again as well. Um, the other thing as well, so the premium on time is 81%. And then the runway as well, that's also really important. The runway is if they don't make any money, they don't do any bond sales, how much, uh, how, how long until the, the rewards run out at the current rate. So OM is 314 days, time is 414 days. So time is winning there. But Spartacus, there's some interesting numbers here. They have the crazy API, APY. Uh, but their value, right? So the price of Spartacus is like 280, something like that right now per SPA cost backed. So, so 145 of the SPA is currently backed in their treasury. That's 53% the total value of what you're buying. So the premium is much less on these, which means if there is some sort of crazy, crazy, worst comes to worst, everybody pulls out their money, the floor should still stay around there. Now, there's also some really interesting protocols to where if the price goes below a dollar, then they will sell off. Uh, they'll, they'll buy some of the ohm uh, in the market uh, and then burn it to then readjust the floor. However, uh, with the reserves being this amount, you know, I, I don't think, you know, you can, that's, that's more the true value going below a dollar and that that's more just a fail safe mechanism. So it never crashes, which again, some really interesting stuff going on with these uh, protocols. So the difference with this one is a uh, 
166 day runway. So Spartacus, a little bit risky. Um, you know, you can check it out. There's also all sorts of weird stuff with tokens that they're going to be doing. You can look up the spell token, the magic internet money token, and you can kind of see how these people are basically creating funds out of thin air. So that's magic internet money. Spartacus is going to have the abracadabra token. So it's really interesting. Like I said, this is all just coming coming up. Spartacus is on the Phantom blockchain, by the way. So I really like that one just because of how new we are. And the APY on that one right now is absolutely sick. So before doing any of this, guys, like I said, go do your own research. Check them out. However, um, my goal with this is, is to eventually be able to, to pull my initial investments. I'm probably going to start putting in more over time on some of these, especially if the price dips. Um, but eventually I want to pull out my initial investment but still have so much money in there that it just keeps stacking. And so lots of really interesting business applications with this people can invest their business profits in this to then have uh, a much better rewards pool than something like a savings account uh, they can then use that money to then market and then put more money in here so there's lots of just really like and this thing is just getting started like barely just getting started i feel like uh like you know gaming has been around now for a little over a year this started maybe six months ago like not even i mean ohm started in in april but it really started picking up steam in October. So this is the hot trend. Go look up as many rebase tokens as you want. You guys might like one more than I did. So I'll put the link down below to check out all of the different rebase tokens right here on CoinGecko. But yeah, guys, go check it out. Go make that money. Go get that passive income. Freaking rebase coins. DeFi 2.0 to the moon. Y'all have an amazing day. Thank you.